Right, Andy, you don't actually know what we are going to be ranking today, do you? No, I don't. I feel You've got nervous. no idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you the link now to the tier maker. So it should be coming okay. through to you right now. Okay, there it is. Oh it? my goodness me, I've just seen a preview <laughs> of it. <laughs> so, oh boy. As you can we see, go. we are going to rank all of the Star Wars films. Now, that means we're doing the three trilogies and yeah. Rogue One and Solo. Yeah, okay? gotcha. Now, don't if you don't don't change the I know they're in like a I don't know what order they're in. Are they in release order? No, they're not in release order. I don't know what no. order they're in on this, but um we're gonna do them through order of release. Wow, okay. Yeah? Yeah. I think I like that it. makes sense. So we're gonna start yeah. off with Star Wars. Or yeah. Star Wars A New, a New Hope. Hope. Star Wars episode yes. four, A New Hope. Now we can I don't think we kind of disagree. Did we disagree on this film a bit? Yeah, uh, I a, 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 li- a little, not not dra- drastically. Look, I think Star Wars uh, Episode Four: New Hope, whatever you want to call it, um, is is a great film and is a yeah. fantastic start. I just, when I think back to it, I don't have like. I, there's this weird feeling in my head where I'm like, I just don't think it's like utterly, astoundingly incredible. Okay. In my head, I see, think I think it's really good. I'm like, really I'm thinking it's just like, it should go straight S tier. I'm wow, feeling like this okay. is like, cause like, I think when we look at the, uh, some of the other films as well, I think quite a lot of these other tiers are going to be like sort of filled up. Now, obviously we've got S tier, which is the top A, B, C and D. Um, yeah. And I think they're going to mean maybe I, different things for different movies. Like, do you know what I mean? Like when we think about, because we're obviously comparing it to other Star Wars films. Yeah, that, that's where I was just about to clarify, actually, that I'm going to agree with you on this. Because we're comparing against other Star Wars films, not in ranking of like how good yeah, as a yeah. film it is like, or something. Yeah, no, it's not like just generally. So I'm yeah, I'm putting uh, it straight in S. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In S it goes. So next up is Empire Strikes Back, which I don't know. I feel I feel like we don't probably need to talk very much about this, but I feel like that's S tier. Oh, it's S S tier. It's and it's, it's the in it's my the best. opinion the best. It's the best film. Yeah. So it's, it's going on the left hand side. Going on the left of it. So it's right there at the top. Empire Strikes Back. What a cool. Yeah. Cool poster Remembering as well. we work from a the far left is the best. Yeah. The, the top left corner is the best, and the bottom right corner is the worst. Yeah. Far left is the best, and the far right is the worst. Without making any political comments. Um, <laughs> right. Return of the Jedi. So I think this we, we this is where we disagree, don't we? But what what I will say is it's S tier. For sure. Fine. Then it's we, we agree. We but agree. But I think we disagree on whether it should go here. Yeah, or here. yeah. You're, you're right. You're right in that aspect. But I'm I also have my opinion is is slightly mellowed over time okay. on this. So I'm actually I'm actually happy to concede. You're happy to go um, with it being S tier, but not as good as the other two. Yeah, I, I'm I'm okay with that. My only it thing I don't like about the that star battle in it. That's yeah, true. So good. and like the end, man, like the Emperor's yeah. music when he's like hiding from Darth Vader. It's so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. That, but the problem is, I think it's become one of those where like, oh, it's it's almost like cool to hate that film now. Not hate it, but like yeah, to, to criticize yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And to I don't like that. On it a bit, kind of. I don't like that. No. I love Return of the no, Jedi. Not at all. Love it. Same. Um, right. We now jump forward. <laughs> I don't know how many how many years was it? Like twenty odd years. More than that, I think. More than that, because what what was it? Nineteen seventy-one. Is it? When, when did Jedi come out? Was it like nineteen seventy-six? Uh, Return of the Jedi came out. You can do the googling while I do the. Yeah, I'm doing. It. I'm doing it. It came out in nineteen eighty-three. Okay. Why did I think seventy-six? Oh, it's because yeah. it was seventy-nine. Was the first one, wasn't it? Oh, okay. Then eighty-one, eighty-three. Um, so then, Phantom the Phantom Menace. Menace, which is here. Cool poster yeah. for Phantom Menace. Love the Darth Maul in the back. Yeah, 1999. Um, the I actually saw this recently. Someone was saying, uh, I saw someone on Twitter say something along the lines of like, um, say something only positive about the prequel trilogy. Oh, cool. And okay. they brought up another, They um, do, you know, do you remember Ollie Moss from who did like Firewatch, um, the artwork for yeah, yeah, those yeah, posters yeah. and stuff, really, really cool posters. Um, it was someone he, he liked to tweet or something. And it was a post of um, episode one, which was, I, I, I don't think I'd ever seen it before. It's it's of you know they're like they're um the hut they're like uh like stone white stone hut yeah yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. They're white stone huts kind of it's one of those then all it is is just the white flooring and the 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 background with Anakin standing in front of it and his 
like he's quite small in the picture and his shadow is Darth Vader's shadow. Yeah, yeah. I know and that it's picture. S- such a good poster. Okay. Like, I think that was one of the early teaser ones. Here's what we've got to do then for each of the rest of the films. We've got to say one thing that's good about them. I like yeah. it. I like it. And yeah, for, yeah. for Phantom Menace, you can't say pod racing because pod racing is inherently shit and boring. Yeah. So Jewel Darth of the Fates. Jewel, Jewel of the Fates. Fates. Darth Maul, Arguably Jewel of one of the best Double bits of music ever. Um, yeah. Now, I want this to be on record. <laughs> yeah. That I think this is... I was about to say something rash then. I'm not sure if I'm going to say it. See, I don't know, man. I I know what you were going to say. I know what you're about to say, but I don't know if I agree. I don't know if I agree. I was about to say, I think it's the worst film out of the lot. Is it a D tier? Do we put it into D for now? Because it yeah. isn't like the writing. We I try. I watched it again, like probably like five years ago, and the writing is and dreadful. It, it looks so dated. Yeah, like shockingly dated. So Phantom is I've, I've put into D. Yeah. So the My next film is lagging so much. Right. The now. next film, of course, is is Attack of the Clones. Yeah. Now I think this might be worse than Phantom Menace. Genuinely, I think I. Th- I this is episode two and episode one. I like in my head are just like both the bottom. But I think when I rewatched them, I was like, oh, at least Attack of the Clones like looks roughly okay while still being a bad film. Like yeah. it, it looks okay. Phantom Menace looks visually terrible in my in my opinion. I think the droids, the battle with the Gungans outside <laughs> with, the, with the shields is yeah. so poor looking nowadays. Obviously, it was kind yeah, of back then, no, but it doesn't matter. You are right. You are right. But but Darth Maul, Jewel of Fates, that fight at the end, Qui Gon's yeah. death. Yeah, but because yeah, that like, Attack of the Clones it, just just not like oh Count Dooku and then he gets away. Um, yeah, it's just not very good. Ja- ja- Django Fett. It's just not very memorable. I don't like. It's not memorable. There's not all. that much good stuff. Like, I want to put this bottom for now. Yeah, it likes I'm fine, D tier. I'm, okay, I'm okay with it. Right at the bottom. On the right. Yeah. Um, episode three. Episode three. Revenge of, Revenge the, Sith. of the Sith. Now, traditionally, I hate this film. Yeah. Um, Traditionally, I don't mind this film, which means I like it more than I'm willing to put on. It's, but that's what that means when I say I, I, I don't mind this film. Is I mean, I actually kind of like it a bit. Can I throw it out there? Yeah. I would be willing to let this film go into B tier. That's all I was going to be asking for. Yeah. So get it in there. Now, Shove it in B tier. The, it's B tier for me because purely of the memes i think <laughs> purely of all of the amazing Wait, hold memes. on a sec we haven't said something nice about episode two and episode three oh, no episode well, two episode two I, I i i think although it's obviously derived from um boba fett i think Django fett looks pretty cool yeah um anakin has that bit where he kills all the sand people <laughs> That's kind of dark. Wow. That's kind of dark. Wow. <laughs> um, Revenge of the Sith. Good thing about Revenge of the Sith. Um, Obi Wan's sick in this film. Yeah, Obi Wan's sick, and the it fight? actually has a really good fight in it, like a genuinely good lightsaber fight. Yeah, with, yeah, or most of it. Obi Wan. I don't like. I don't like Yoda and the Emperor's fight. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I do like how Obi Wan beats General Grievous just with like shooting him, and he's like so uncivilized. Yeah, that's cool yeah, yeah. but it's just a meme like yeah. so many me- like i can't think of any <laughs> part of that film that's not been memed to death um so i'm i'm gonna say b tier because i think it has gone up in my mind through the years um yeah i i, I think it, i think it, it when i i've re-watched the the prequel trilogy maybe like four or five years ago so it was yeah. a while ago but i remember distinctly thinking in my mind when i was watching them these get better as they go on. And in my mind, I had, there was a significant step up in, in how competent as a Star Wars film episode three was in my mind. I'm not saying it's as good as the other ones, but I was saying it's a lot, a significant step up in yeah. my mind. No, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I think, I think it's, I think it's worse in my head than I remember just because it was like the culmination of that. Of the yeah, prequels. of course. Of okay. Course. Star Wars, The Force Awakens episode yeah, well, 7 so this should go s tier because it between, is between uh, like second or third place on s tier because it's the same film as a new hope right man i just i'll so just exactly sat here and i just remembered when darth vader at the end of episode 3 uh, of revenge of the Sith goes where's padme no, no like that and it just makes me want to slide <laughs> it down into c but i won't um 
Yeah. Force Awakens. I think Force Awakens is I think it's A. I think it's better than I think it's better than Revenge of the Sith. I don't think it I, it's definitely not S. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at this I'm thinking yeah, I think no. I'm th- I'm thinking you're right. Yeah, you are right. Okay. I just think it's it, I think it's a good film. It's, I think competent. it's, a so- it's competent. Yeah, it's a competent film. It leaves a lot of cool questions. It's um it's exciting. It introduces a load of new characters really well. Um Sure. Yep. I'll give I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Good music. Um, like the music's good again, as it, well, it always is generally, but like I like yeah. I like Force Awakens quite a lot. Okay. I'm I'm happy with that actually because it is, yeah, it's it's better than Revenge, and it's not it's not just like oh, it's it's slightly higher in the tier than Revenge. It is just better. So now, a, I can't remember. I said we're going to do this in order. I can't remember what, if it was Last Jedi or Rogue, Rogue One, One next. Is it Rogue One? Rogue One first, yeah, because they were they were interstitial films, so they went in between each year. Now, what's your thinking in Rogue One? Because I know where I think I would put it, but I'm interested to see what you think. Yeah, so my initial thoughts with Rogue One would be that it is. Uh, in the front of the A tier or at the end of the S tier. Oh, okay. So so if we put it at the end of the S tier, I think we're overloading the S tier and it's better to 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 spread ourselves across the whole range of options. Yeah. Um but I in my head, Rogue One, whilst I have a lot of issues with the way that film starts in the first 30 minutes, yeah, I think it's same. nonsensical garbage yeah. what happens at the beginning of that film. Um I think it has such a strong visual identity. I think it understood what it meant to be in Star Wars in that time zone. Yeah. I think the characters are, on the most part, quite interesting. Um, I really like, um, what's the name? Felicity Jones? Is that her name? Yes. I think Felicity Jones. Yeah, <laughs> I really like her. I find she's really endearing. And um, it's kind of cool. It was pretty cool to see Vader at the end, just like chucking people around. Uh, my thoughts were um, top of A as well. Yeah, so be- let's do it. Better than Force Awakens. Um, not quite touching these films, though. Yeah, because I think I think Force Awakens. One of my biggest issues with it is that it's it's just it's starting a new thing, and it's understandable that it has to be safe, but it's very safe. Yeah, yeah. Whilst obviously doing a few things, I thought Rogue One was quite like daring and different, and it's it's bleak. Like yeah, yeah. spoilers, two, one. <laughs> They die. They lose. They die. Like, yeah, they get the plan off, and that's obviously linked straight into the beginning of A New Hope. But the good guys die yeah. in this film, just horribly so, as well. Just I'm, kind of. I think that's. Yeah, I think that's quite refreshing and different for Star Wars. So okay. Um, yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree fondly on that. So I think it becomes hard now. So the next film is um, the Last Jedi. Um, mm. I've still Ryan only Johnson. actually ever seen this film once, Same. which is in the cinema. Yeah, I, I've only seen and this I, and... Well, actually, I've only seen Rogue One, this, Solo, and Rise of Skywalker once right. each. True, actually, um, yeah, all in the cinema. I mean... I, I I appreciate that this film was quite bold in in some yeah. of the decisions that it made, but I just hate almost every decision that this film made about the law and the franchise as a whole. Yeah, and do I think that because I hate those decisions, do I think it's as a low down as a film in terms of how it's made as like Phantom Menace and Sack of the Clones? I don't think so. No, because I think the film is actually quite competently made. Yeah. as a pure film, I think it has some of the most striking visuals in the entire series. Um, I think I, I'm 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 leaning at C. I don't know if it's just because C is like open. But, but yeah, I kind of I, I kind of want to put it D just because of the, just because of what it did to Luke Skywalker, man. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let Let's put it in C for the time being. I'm happy to maybe have a little rejig around once we see how things lie. Yeah. Um. Because it, it is. Uh, yeah. Put it. Put it. Put it in C. Let Let's do the this the last two. Solo. I don't yeah. really. I can't bother to talk about Solo very much. I think it's C. I don't think yeah. it's as good as um, Re- like Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, and by the, by the way, my my nice comment about uh, Last Jedi was oh. the striking visuals. If you didn't catch that, my f- my my nice comment about um, Last Jedi was when they made one of the biggest heroes ever uh, milk some aliens' teat. <laughs> that's my that's my nice. Co- Sorry, did we? Oh, we meant nice comments, not yeah. sarcastic comments. Yeah, wasn't it? yeah. I like the bit when the when the ship goes into the other ship. That's cool. 
Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. When it... <laughs> yeah, again, striking visuals. So, um, solo, I'm going to put it C. I'm going to put it lower than... No, it, I'm going to put it higher than last year. You're putting Solo C? Yeah. I don't think it's that good. I was going to put it in D. Were you? I think I think Solo is like trash. Oh, like, I, I don't really think it's don't that like bad. Solo at all. I thought it was incomprehensible garbage. Really? Yeah, I really didn't like it. If you if you <sighs> we, if you want to settle on C, then that's okay. But just know that in my mind, it's in a D. Um, it's the top of the D's for me. It's the best D. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> who are you traveling with? No one. I'm. I'm solo. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll put it. I'm putting it top of D. Um, it's not a good film at all. Yeah, but there's some cool bits. Like what? Um, Darth Maul's in it. Like <laughs> the stupidest cock tease that no one doesn't go anywhere. Where are you putting? Uh, where are you putting Rise of Skywalker? <laughs> um, I think this is the worst film. I think it's the worst one out of every. Yeah. Wow. It's so shit. <laughs> it is. I mean, we haven't really talked about this much together because we are going to talk no, about. No, we've it. kind of avoided. Uh, this is kind of like a precursor because we are going to do a full episode of Realize about this. Um, I think yeah. we're going to be drunk when we do it, but we are going to do it. Um, yeah. I'm putting it there because. That film is a bad film. Okay. It is a bad film. Well, I, I, I came out of the film, I came out of the film feeling really negative. Yeah. And I've essentially just forgotten that it existed or, and to be honest, the vast majority of the stuff that actually happened in the film, I've just forgotten. Yeah. I can actually, I can without a doubt tell you more things that happened in episode one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hands down. I could tell you so much more. And I can probably tell you more that happened in episode two. So maybe you're right there then that it is the worst one. It's just like, and I don't like, we're going to we'll talk about it in more detail, but I don't think it's necessarily like JJ J. Abrams fault or this film's fault that it was so bad. But like, I think it's just a shocking decision on how they decided to plan yeah. out one of the biggest well, trilogies the, of all time. The fact they didn't plan it out. Well, is exactly. Stupid. Yeah, that, and I yeah. almost feel bad about Last Jedi getting away with being in C and this one being in D, because I feel like one stabbed yeah. the other in the back so hard. <laughs> True. Yeah, you're right. Um, but there's a, there's, a, there's a level of like, I don't know, there's a, there's a level of something in The Last Jedi which just like ticked over and kind of was like, okay, this is kind of crap, but okay. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe not. I don't know, man. They're bad. I, I never thought, you know, when I, when I finished, when I, when I watched... Um, Force Awakens, which I watched a stupid amount of times, I never would mm, have thought yeah, yeah. coming out of the cinema finishing that that on the whole, I think the sequel trilogy might be worse than the prequel trilogy. I never would yeah. have thought that. Um, yeah, that's that's a that's a that's a hot take. Are you happy with this list? I'm quite I'm I'm quite happy. I'm, I think I, I think I, I think I shocked myself a little bit. I'm shocked at how many are down in D. I wouldn't have put Solo in D. I don't think, but. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, well, I yeah, I pulled, I pulled rank. You on pulled that rank one. on that one. Yeah. I'd probably swap Last Jedi and Solo, Solo, just to throw out there. But anyway, um, sure. That's that's the definitive list. That's that's pretty correct. And I can't see anyone being angry with that at all. So that's our. Did you put Solo at the top of D? By I put way? it at the top of D. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fine. Just remember the pod <laughs> racing, and that's why that's why it's top of D. <laughs> Um, yeah, 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 you're right. You're thank right. you so much for uh, watching this. If you enjoyed this, you might enjoy the other tier list video that we did, which was all about the PlayStation 4 exclusive games. It was before Last of Us 2 and Ghost of Tsushima came out, so it's a lot of the exclusives before that, which you can find on this YouTube channel here. If you like this, please give it a little thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment, tell us where we went wrong with our um, with our rankings, even though that's impossible. <laughs> and uh, we will see you on our next tier list video. Goodbye.